Tom, this is a time of year when everyone is really eager for the new season to start, but I imagine few could be more eager than you after the trials and tribulations you've had in the last couple of years. Uh, I think that's a fair comment. I just, I just want to play. That's, that, that's all I'm after, and you know, I want them, of course, to be uh, ready to go, you know, hopefully for the pre-season friendlies and certainly for uh, you know, the first game of the season at the doubleheader. It's been very long rehab. Has, how different has it been from previous cases? Um, well, I suppose the main difference is this time we know that you know, the operation has healed. Uh, so I, you know, I'm not running around trying to make the best of what... what uh, well, I'm not running around trying to sort of deal with you know, a shoulder nod as it's supposed to be, or at least as it's supposed to be, given that you know, I've had surgery on it. But uh, that just makes a difference mentally. You know, I, I know that I'm... It's as good as it can be, and that is, you know, solid. And I'm able to build on that. And I'm already doing things that I couldn't do last time around. So uh, whilst I'm still, a, you know, a little bit away yet, I think by the time the season rolls around, hopefully I'll be in good nick. Since you last played, a lot of water has gone under the bridge. We've got a new director of rugby, a lot of new players. There really is a fresh feel about the place, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, you know, pre-season has been uh, has been good so far. You know, so many uh, new faces, sort of guys coming in and. Uh, you know, get, getting to know people, it's, uh, you know, it, it's just good for the, the sense that you know, this season has been a fresh start for us in terms of we want to move on from uh, the rugby last year. I think having a lot of guys who are coming in from elsewhere for various reasons, you know, guys who uh, you know, perhaps haven't been getting game times at other clubs, other guys who you know, come to us through uh, you know, moving on in their careers. You know, it, it's a good mix and I think obviously with Dai coming in to head it all up, it's uh, exciting times. One of the guys coming in, Jonathan Poff, who has been uh, Richie McCall's understudy at the Crusaders, he must know a lot about playing in the back row. Uh, I'd, well, I reckon so. If he's if he's done any uh, any learning over the last few years, then he'll know a fair amount. I think, bizarrely, I think I actually played against him years ago in an England New Zealand schoolboys game. Um, I might be wrong, but I'm fairly sure he was uh, at least part of their squad then. So that'd be quite. Uh, Interesting, but you know, again, the guy's clearly got a lot of top-level experience, and uh, you know, looking forward to uh, you know getting together. Because the really big news of the past few days, in a year's time, the return of the Haskellator. <laughs> the return. Now, at the conclusion of his world tour, after yeah, two yeah. years in France, several months in Japan, and some unspecified destination in the Southern Hemisphere, what is his banter going to be like? Well, given a, I'm sure I'll tell you. He'll insist that it was world beating to start with. At least had a, had a chance to test that theory against uh, well, pretty much everyone else. And uh, ob obviously, uh, you know, James's cultural experiences will be interesting to see what stories he uh, has to bring back from that. But I, th I think, uh, you know, it, I'd like to think that most people will be like me and just, you know, over the moon to hear that he's coming back. And, you know, shame, obviously, it's going to be, uh, you know, we've got a bit of a wait, but, um, you know, he's got a World Cup to go and win first. So. Uh, be, Can uh, you imagine what he'd be like if he arrived back with a World Cup winner's medal, though? Well, that's the thing, he would arrive wearing it, I'm, su I'm sure of it. So, uh, no, I mean, he's going to be insufferable anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. Uh, you know, if anything, you'd rather he was insufferable with good reason. Joking um, apart, though, I mean, he really did play some fantastic rugby in the Six Nations, and clearly his two seasons with Stade Francais have really developed him as a player. De definitely. I mean, I, I certainly don't think he was uh, you know, a player who was lacking, particularly you know, when, when he left us, but clearly the time in Stad, I think, has given him uh, you know, a few new, uh, new strings to his bow, if you forgive the, uh, <laughs> the standard uh, sort of clichés. But you know, he went away from us. You know, we all, everyone knew about you know, his physical ability, you know, his speed and things like that. And he's always had uh, you know, sort of a fairly good handling game, but it now looks like the, sort of the exposure to the French way sort of brought that out in him slightly more. But he's managed to keep that real hard edge, and I think he was one of the standout players for him in the Six Nations and be looking to, uh, for him to become one of the, you know, the standout players in the World Cup. Well, anyway, as far as was are concerned, that's in a year's time. For this immediate season, what are the realistic hopes and aspirations? Well, I mean, I think you know, the realistic uh, hope is obviously to do better than last year. You know, and I appreciate that, uh, you know, but some people might not see that setting the bar particularly high to start with. But it, you can see just how tight the league is each year. You know, just how, it goes right down to the wire to who gets into the top four. You know, the relegation battles go on. So for me, to, you know, I could sit here and say, oh, you know, we're going to be in it, in it to win it, and that essentially doesn't mean anything because I, I can't be certain of that. What I can be certain of is that you're going to get. 
you know, a lot more in terms of, I think, belief within this squad, which I think, unfortunately, was one of the things that sort of left us a bit when Duke started to uh, go a bit south last year. You know, mentally, we're a bit fragile. We're going to be a lot tougher this season. We're going to give it, give it our uh, all, and you know, we're going to do our best to be up there, competing, come the end of the season, and make sure that you know we're one of the sides in with a shout. So, is the opening to the season just what you'd have wanted? The two finalists from last year. Well, in a way, I couldn't, couldn't care less who it was. And I just want to play. But I think, in, in terms of starts, yeah, they're probably easier ones. But you know, you're going to have to play them at some point. And what better way again for us to see, you know, what the working preseason has done and where we need to go from that opening. Uh, you know what? What, a, what better way to find out than go against up against the top two?